Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to set up our own Pixelmon server, and we'll also fix our client with Forge and Pixelmon so we can actually connect. Once everything is working, we will then dive into Tabex and I'll show you how to connect your server and also how to offer your packages. So let's dive right in. Pixelmon is a Forge mod, so we have to have a Forge server, but we're going to be using something called Magma by the Magma Foundation. As it says here, Magma is a powerful Forge server, providing you with the mods and plugins using Spigot and Paper for performance and stability. So it's kind of all three in one. And the installation is super simple. Let's start by setting up our server. So let's go to downloads on the magmafoundation.org and the link will be in the description. And we're going to be using 1.16.5 because this is the same version as Pixelmon. You can also do 1.12.2, but we are using the newest version possible. So let's download the newest version of Magma. Once it's done downloading, I'm just going to drag it into a folder that I already made. We need to create a start file. So I'm going to do new, text document, open this up. On the official minecraft.net webpage, we're going to download this down here. So let's paste it in here and I'm quickly going to change this. You don't have to do this. I want to give it a little bit more memory. So hopefully everything runs a little bit smoother. You can see that it's talking to the wrong jar file. So we need to replace that with the name of our Magma jar file. So I'm going to rename, copy everything, and then replace that over here. Let's go to save as, all files, then just call it start.bat. Make sure you give it the .bat extension. Once you save this, we can start our file and we get the Magma starting screen. It says we have to accept the end user license agreement. So I'm just going to type yes and then press enter. Just give it a moment and it should download everything and even install Forge and also Bucket for our server. For me, it takes about a minute. Of course, this is depending on your internet speed. Just wait for it to be done. So you can see it says patching done and now it's going to try and start our server. It says it's done. So if we refresh our folder by pressing F5 or closing it and opening it again, you can see that indeed we have our mods and our plugins folder. Let's close the server for now. Let's go to reforce.gg and click on download. This is where we can download Pixelmon. Wait for about five seconds, then click skip and it should automatically start downloading. While this is downloading, I'm going to also click on Forge because we still need to install Forge on our client. So also wait about five seconds and then download Forge as well. We don't need Forge for our server. Magma fixes this all for us in one install. While this is still downloading, I'm going to run the Forge installer, select install client and just leave this default. If you don't have Minecraft installed in the default place, you can click this button and navigate to wherever you have Minecraft installed. Then all we have to do is click OK. And it says successfully installed the client for Forge. This is the version that Pixelmon recommends. So we have this Pixelmon Universal, which means it's for our client and also for our server. So let's copy this, go inside the mods folder and then paste it inside there. You can move it, of course, but we need it again because we also need to put it in our client folder. So with this in our mods folder, let's scroll back and double click the start.bat file. It should check for an update and then it should automatically start our server. Let's see if it gives us a message that it actually has loaded Pixelmon. It says here, data packs found, vanilla, forge, bucket, and also Pixelmon. So we still need to put this Pixelmon universal inside of our client folder. By pressing the Windows key and R on my keyboard, you can see that we get this run pop-up. You can also just click on start and then type in run. You should get the same thing. This is what you're going to put in there. If you press OK, you should pop up this folder and at the top there should be Minecraft and then there is a mods folder. As you can see, just drag it in there. This is the same version. Oh, it's actually a newer version. Let's remove this, drag it in here. And now we have the newer version 9.0.7. If you don't see this mods folder, there is something wrong with your Forge install. Go back to the step before where we installed it to our client and make sure you have the correct folder selected. So let's start up the Minecraft launcher and make sure that in the bottom left, you have your Forge install selected. If you don't see this, go to installations, new install, Typing in Forge here at the version, it will give you all the Forge options you have. So make sure you have 1.16.5 and also the Forge version. Then go back to play, make sure you have that selected and click on play. As you can see, probably gonna stress a little bit. It says here, oh, 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 well, it said <laughs> Pixelmon, you probably couldn't really see it. Just give it a moment to start up, but this should automatically load up the Pixelmon mod as well. It already says Pixelmon, but clicking on mods, you can see that the Pixelmon mod is indeed installed and also Forge. It also tells us what versions are installed. Go to multiplayer, direct connect, 
and it's going to connect locally, you can also just type localhost here. And then you should be able to join your server. So we already have our server running, Forge running, and Pixelmon installed. And we're in the game. I'm not going to go in depth in any basics of Pixelmon. This is just for the server setup and connecting it to Tabex. You have some buttons in the bottom right, as you can see. And also there are plenty of tutorials going into the basics of playing Pixelmon. Now we just need to install the Tabex plugin and also connect it to our server. Let's type stop and then press enter to stop our server. Let's go into our plugins folder. And this is where we're going to put our Spigot Tabex plugin. We're going to click on game servers and then connect your first game server. And we are going to use the plugin. I'm going to give my server a name and then I'm not going to attach any packages at the moment. Let's just click on continue. We're going to use the Spigot version. So let's click on Spigot. And then once it's downloaded, put it in our plugins folder, not inside of the mods folder. And then we're going to go back to the start.bat file and start up our server. And this should automatically load the Tabex plugin. And as you can see, Bycraft X says enabling Bycraft. So it's actually loaded. Back on Tabex, we're going to copy our secret key because we already placed it inside of our plugins folder. And then on the server, we're just going to right click. And this will automatically paste what we copied, press enter. And now, as you can see in the top right, it says that our server is connected. So let's click continue. And then it's time to set up our packages. So let's first look at what kind of commands we have. And this is inside of the wiki. Scrolling down, you can see that these are all the commands that we have. And I always recommend testing the commands in-game first, making sure everything is working, and then you can just edit it to work inside of Tabex. The two things we're going to demonstrate is give money and also give Pokemon. So let's do give money first. So all we have to do is give money, my player name, and also the amount. Connect to the server again, because we restarted the server. Pressing U, you can see in the bottom right here, we currently don't have any money. So all I'm going to do is go back to the server and type in give money, Tabex Academy 100. When typing something in the server or in the comment prompt, you don't have to do the slash. That's only if you do it in game. So this should automatically give us 100 Poké Dollars. <laughs> it also tells us in the bottom left, but pressing U, you can see that indeed we receive our money. So back on our dashboard, let's go to packages and then create a package. So I gave it a simple name, description, and I also selected the category and I set the price to zero because I want to be able to claim it for free as a demonstration for this tutorial. Scrolling down, we're going to add a game server command, select the server that we want to execute it on, and then let's add our first command. Same thing, give money, but instead of my username, we have to use a variable and we're going to use the username variable and then we can set a amount. And this should automatically work. So let's test also give Pokemon. So we have to do PokéGIF, player name, and then the Pokémon, but we can also add several arguments. If you click here on Pokémon Spec, you can see all the different kind of arguments that you can add to this command. Because I'm pretty sure it will give a random level, for example, to the Pokémon if you don't specify any. And this might not be the behavior that you want. In this example, I'm not going to add any arguments, just so you know, you can add arguments if you want to. Both to the PokéGIF and also to Poké Spawn. So let's go back. Let's give this a try. As you can see, I currently only have my starter Pokemon. So I'm going to do PokéGIF, Tabex Academy, Kingdra. Successfully gave Tabex Academy a Kingdra. So we successfully got our Pokemon. So now let's also add this to Tabex. Let's add another command. And let's do, for example, PokéGIF, username, Burmy. If you want to, you can change it to only execute if the player is online. Depending on the command, maybe you just want to give it right away. You can choose whatever suits you best. In this case, I'm going to leave it on online because I'm connected to the server. And that's all we have to do. So let's click on create. Let's go view our web store and let's claim the package. Let's fill in my name, click on continue. Proceed to checkout. So we still have a hundred Poké dollars, I think it's called. So let's give Tabex a moment and we should automatically get a Burmy and also another hundred Poké dollars. He's doing the tornado over there. Oh. You heard me. I'm sorry. I'll leave you alone. Server successfully added 100 poker dollars to your balance. As you can see, we also got our Burmy on the left. Pressing U, we indeed now have 200. One more thing I wanted to show you guys. Pixelmon is more a role play or casual kind of play style. For me, the most fun is fighting the mobs and building farms, etc. By default, all the normal mobs are disabled. There is a setting that we can use to enable this, so I quickly want to point you towards that if you also want to have normal mobs spawning alongside new Pokemon. Let's go back to our server folder, go into configuration, pixelmon, and then open config.yml. 
if we then do a quick search for mobs allow vanilla mobs is by default set to false we're going to change that to true let's save and restart our server by double clicking the start again so reconnecting to our server let's quickly make ourselves admin or operate oh never mind we already see one as you can see there are now also clearly normal mobs alongside the pokemon which i think makes things a lot more interesting depending of course on what kind of server you're setting up if your server is not port forwarded and you're hosting it locally you will need to port forward your server to allow people from outside or from the internet to join i'm not going to go into that step today search for port forwarding minecraft and there are tons of tutorial that will help you out that's basically all you have to do magma makes it super simple one click install basically the pixelmon universal file makes it simple put it in your client put it in your server and you're done just connect it to tabx as i showed and everything should be fine just port forward shouldn't be that hard there's tons of tutorials out there just like i said earlier hopefully this was helpful if anything is unclear you can leave a comment down below and as always thank you for watching and good luck with your tabx store